you might be finding right now that there's a lot of panic inside of you. I'm even watching the markets stunned by what's happening because it's so extreme. Markets go up hundreds of points, markets go down hundreds of points, and all of us are at a loss as to what to do. And one of the things that's holding a lot of us up is that we're getting locked into fear. Our whole world is getting more and more into fear about the future and fear about not knowing what to do right now. And fear is a very gripping emotion that can really get in the way of responding appropriate, especially, uh, appropriately, especially in crisis. So what we'll do right now is let me give you another tool you can use to start letting go of fear. Now, all the tools in the film, the tools in the Sedona Method book, the, the tools uh, in the app are all great. But I'd like to give you something you can use right now in addition to all that, that I think you'll find will really help. Now, what we've discovered about fear is that when we're afraid of something, it's because we have an expectation of something horrible happening, or it might just be unwanted. And we actually start to picture that happening more and more and more. And, what we're, and we start wanting it not to happen. And the more we want it not to happen, the more we picture it and the more afraid we get. It's like a cycle. And you can see it going on right now in the markets. You can see it going on in the world. But there's an easy way to break the cycle. What you can do is instead of trying to not have something happen, instead of trying to suppress your fear, do it anyway, over the fear, deny your fear, or just struggling to know what to do, what you can do is just simply allow the fear to be there for a moment. Now, by the way, that in itself is revolutionary. If you just simply welcome what you're feeling, you'll discover that as you welcome it, instead of fighting it, it will start to dissolve and your clear reason and intuitive knowingness will shine through. But there's a shortcut you can use in addition to that. Once you allow yourself to feel your fear, what I recommend you do is dig a little deeper and check to see what expectation is built into the fear? In other words, what is it you're not wanting to have happen? And when you get in touch with that, you can let that go. The more you let that go, the more you clear your awareness. And you can take right action. You can be calm even when things are going crazy around you. So let's actually do the process together. In this moment, allow yourself to think of something that you're afraid of something about what's going on in the world, something in your own life, or anything at all. And in this moment, could you just simply welcome the fear? Could you just let it be here? And then dig a little deeper and allow yourself to check. What is it that you're afraid of? What are you afraid might happen? What is it you're not wanting to happen? What, you're, what are you expecting? And whatever comes to mind, could you welcome that as well? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of expecting that to happen? Could you let go of wanting it not to happen? Would you? When? And focus on that same thing or anything else that you're afraid of. And in this moment, could you just simply welcome the fear? Let it be here. And then could you dig a little deeper and check to see what you're afraid is about to happen or could happen? What are you expecting? What are you wanting not to happen? And could you let that be here too? By the way, letting it be here is not going to have it happen. When you allow it to come up into awareness and you just acknowledge what you've been denying, you can let it go and you're less likely to pull it into your experience. Suppressing it, denying it, pretending it's not there makes it even more likely to happen. So again, whatever that expectation is, whatever it is you're wanting not to happen, just for now, could you let go of that expectation? Could you let go of wanting that not to happen? Would you?
when. And let's just do that one more time. In this moment, allow yourself to think of something that you may be panicking about, you may be afraid of, you may be worrying about. Again, it could be about the economy, it could be about your own personal finance, it could be anything else in your life. But whatever it is, could you just simply let the feeling be here instead of running away from it or fighting it? And then could you dig a little deeper and check to see what you're expecting to happen? What are you anticipating? What is it that you're wanting not to happen? And whatever comes to mind, could you just let that be here? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of that expectation? Could you let go of wanting that to not happen? Would you? When? Okay. Now, I would recommend that you keep practicing this on your own. You'll find that the more you let go of the expectation or the things that you're wanting not to happen, the more you can clear your mind and know exactly what you need to do in this moment to deal with what's going on now in the world. So remember also to use all the tools that you've already been given as a gift. The, the iPhone app, Money Now, the, either the portion of the film or watching the whole film, and the excerpt from the Sedona Method book. This tool, the Sedona Method, is uniquely suited for today's challenges. I've been expecting for a long time that the world would keep accelerating in this direction until we all work together to turn it around. And now is the time that we do that. Let's all work together to turn it around, both by external action that's constructive and creative and is designed to bring about new possibilities, and by letting go of the old, both the old structure and all the old thoughts and feelings and beliefs. If we do that, I think we have a chance to make this all right. Thank you.